Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. I'm doing something a little bit shorter today. Uh, there is a feature that keeps popping up in the comments and well people want a certain thing and there actually was support added quite recently in one of the updates uh, by someone else. So I wanted to kind of show you how it all works and uh, basically what it does. So the suggestion for the tutorial was basically to get something from a tag or something like that and basically make it random and that is now possible. So if we basically break a leaf block, an oak leaf, uh, it will generate uh, a random item. Okay, that was three things in a row. We got some gas tiers there. We should get a couple golden apples and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's kind of random. And yeah, you can get a whole bunch of stuff. It's all through a tag itself. So we got um, seven glow berries, uh, eight gla gas tiers, and four golden apples. So uh, the only thing is you can't adjust the weight for them. So that's uh, one thing that you can't do. I'm uh, just running that through a block broken uh, procedure. So that's basically how that works. And over here, I have a demonstration of just some random blocks that were generated through the thing. Now, if we place down some dirt, I can demonstrate this. I can place it down and it will generate a random line of different blocks and stuff like that. So it's completely random which ones will actually be placed. So that's basically that. And um, while I'm here, I actually was just kind of flying around and stuff like that and take a look at the surroundings because 1.8 is really nice to do that with and I noticed that there was this little area right here now the seed is let's just get the seed up on the screen now um, that's the seed so I'll make sure to leave that in the description but this is a really nice place it would be really good for um, actually building like a small settlement or something like that in there's a little bit baddies down here at the moment but um, the one nice thing about this is there is a spider dungeon right here, not too far away from the entrance. And if you do make your way down, there is a mine shaft down here. And if you get through the mine shaft, go this way and watch all the directions that things can come out of. There's a few different angles like that. But once you get over down this way, and then you go this way, and then go that way. There should be, I forget where it is, uh, it's somewhere around here, it's on the left side I believe. Um, where was that? There was another spawner somewhere around here, but it was pretty visible, I don't know where it went. Uh, there's, there's one of those too, but there's uh, another spider spawner somewhere to the left I think I'm not sure exactly where it went but um I did find it and I noticed it because I was just flying around and stuff like that but this whole mine shaft is pretty darn big like I mean it's mostly open actually because of the cave system which is really cool and that's not all about the seed actually there is a few other things um with this particular seed that's really cool so there's those spawners there there's uh, one down there, and there was actually like a dungeon somewhere around on the cliff side, but I can't seem to find it right now. It's somewhere around here. I'm sure if we went into Spectator, we would be able to find it, but um, yeah, I'm not sure where it is. But yeah, there's those, and then there is a couple actual notable biomes in the seed, so I just wanted to showcase that really quickly. So we'll go back over here, and then we have this whole area back here to explore and stuff like that but uh there is a mesa biome or mesa biome or whatever it's pronounced it's over there's a jungle temple just directly over there so spawn is somewhere around here right so you don't spawn too far away from this area there's a jungle temple just right over there on that uh plateau you might be able to see it right on the uh cursor there and then if you go this way uh, there is a desert over there, which also has a desert village, so you can get resources from there. And over here, there is this huge, massive mesa biome. 
And there's some, actually some notable places in this uh, mess of biome. This actually feels a lot like the Grand Canyon, which is really cool. I'm sure you can do some interesting builds and stuff like that. But somewhere around here, I forget where it was. It was it might be in here. Uh, you can do an entire like uh, Smuggler's Cove kind of thing, and there's another mine shaft way down here. And I mean, there's tons of room to build and stuff like that. It's just amazing on how much room there actually is down here. And um, looks like there's quite a bit of stuff that would need to be lit up. But I just found the whole um, part. They're like, look at that. I mean, it's just, just carved right into the wall there. But you can bring a boat into here and then park it right here. And then you can get off and do some stuff like that. But uh, anyhow, the, there's tons of places to explore and stuff like that. The desert temple is right... Or not temple, the uh, desert village. It's just right over here somewhere. I saw it when I was flying around. It didn't actually explore it, but should be just right over on this side here like the mat the mesa biome is quite actually huge and there's tons of stuff in there so yeah the there it is right there so oh wow it even goes further back over here so this is the village uh it has some hay blocks looks like some wheat beetroots um something there i don't know what that is maybe melons not like you need melons there's a jungle not too far away but yeah there's quite a few things around here and looks like there's more farming yeah. stuff down here doesn't look i don't think these ones actually grow potatoes but the, the villagers might have potatoes on them so you might be able to get potatoes from them yeah. but yeah it's just a nice little village and stuff like that oh and there's a, a jungle temple right over here so i mean you know, everything is pretty much localized so yeah, outside of that, uh, let's go into the actual tutorial. I just thought I would showcase that quickly. And I'll, again, put this seed in the description if you guys want to check that out. I'm sure there's tons of more places locally that you can actually explore and stuff. But um, that's what I found while testing. All right, so there are two main things uh, that you need for this to actually work. Uh, you're going to need a trigger of some sort, and you are going to need either a block or an item tag for basically generating the items. Um, depending on which procedure you use, I have a couple examples um, that I'll demonstrate in just a couple seconds. Uh, we'll start with the leaves broken. So basically what I've done is I've put it under the forge namespace, and it's an item uh, tag type. And the tag registry is basically just leaves underscore broken. And then I've basically added what items that I wanted to drop in this particular um, tag. So, for example, the leaves actually dropped the glowberries, uh, golden apple, and gas tears. So those are the items that basically can drop in that. And for that, I just have a basically a basic uh, e-block broken procedure and I am testing for the provided block state uh, you can also test if this is not in your Minecraft components that should show up there but if it's not then you can just test for the block location that will do the exact same thing uh, it's just a little bit extra blocks to actually for the example but that would do the exact same thing if you're testing for the same location and then basically I'm just spawning a gem and then what I do for that is if you go under item procedures and scroll down uh, you'll find one that says random item from tag and then there's a tag name the default one is minecraft uh, colon logs or error if no items is found so basically what this is doing is we're just specifying the forge tag you can put this under your my your mod namespace so um for example the namespace for this particular workspace is tag underscore drop we could change that to that and then have the colon and then our tag name so again this is the registry part where it says leaves underscore broken so we would set that up like that and then all i'm doing is i'm basically offsetting the x and z coordinates to the center of the block and I'm keeping the same Y level so it doesn't go upwards too much because it al already is designed to kind of float up a little bit. So that's basically what it's doing. And then it's going to um, 
have a 10 pick up 10 tick to pick up delay as well as a despawn it, it is despawnable so those are the the basic things that i've done for basically applying loot when it drops from a block uh, you can do it that way um, another way that you could do is probably the same exact way but you could convert um, a block tag so if we go into the block tag part and then scroll down there should be a option somewhere in here it might be at the top yeah this one right here so you put that in here same exact idea it's just a block tag that you need and then you would basically use that as the part right here and that will do the exact same thing as an item but it's using a block tag and you could do vice versa as well uh, so the other one is a block placed for the dirt so basically I have dirt placed and the registry is dirt underscore placed and then it's under the forge namespace again it can be under the minecraft it can be under forge it can be under your mod namespace or even another mod namespace if you wanted to uh, the tag type is blocks for this one and this one I am basically just going and adding different types of the copper blocks uh, with the chiseled and or the um, what do they call it um, cut versions and just some regular versions um, and then what we do is I have just a small procedure again anything with the provided block state what you can do is you can just replace it with the get block at and then it'll do the exact same thing just testing if the block that I basically place is dirt and if true then I'm basically setting a variable a local variable um, it's called pause y and then what this is doing is I'm setting pause Y to the position Y plus one. And this will just offset the location where I'm going to be spawning the blocks up one block. And then it's going to basically spawn it up that way. Um, yeah. And then what we're doing is we're just running it 10 times and then we're replacing the block uh, where it's located. And then we're getting the uh, random block from tag and then the tag namespace colon and then the tag registry uh, or error if no block is found and then we're keeping the state we don't really need to keep the state but then we kept the state anyways and then keep mbt if you wanted to keep the mbt as well and then we're just increasing the y val variable from the y value we're setting the y value with the y value plus one so basically it'll just increase the value one each time this repeater is run so 10 times and it just basically stacks the blocks uh, another thing that you could do is i mentioned that it could be done opposite wise as well so if you scroll down a little bit there should be a block um i think there's a block where it says gets item convert item uh to block or error if conversion fails so you can basically grab that one and if you have, uh, say, blocks that are um, in the tag, then you could generate uh, something from a item tag. So if we'll scroll down and get the item tag. And you could basically just convert that part right here into a item tag. So basically what this would allow you to do is basically convert a item tag one into a block if it is actually a block if it's not a block then it's just going to return re replace it with error uh, for that basic basic test and then you can kind of generate something with noise i guess as well so that's basically how those things work um, again it's a really short tutorial uh, compared to my regular ones but it's a pretty easy feature to actually do i know that you guys requested it quite a few times so i noticed that it was something that could be covered and so I covered it. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.